Right before I graduated from the university, I decided I would become an entrepreneur. I was studying civil engineering and was doing pretty good at it. But I had a passion for writing that wouldn't go away and so I was determined I would become a writer. After graduation, I started my NYIC program, National Youth Service Corps. I would wake up very early to write for at least 30 minutes daily. For two years, I spent most of my mornings just writing and publishing on blogs. As soon as I completed my NYSE program, I was flustered about what to do next. I hadn't imagined I would get a job. Never had. Friends and families expected me to take a job. I was determined to write for a living instead. I followed the latter. In less than two months after completing my NYSE program, I was offered an opportunity to edit a book for a big company. The project launched me into writing full-time. After completing that project, I knew there was no going back. I would become a writer, but this did not come so cheap. Facing the challenge Sometimes, I would wake up with doubts about the path I have chosen. I would shudder with regrets about the choice I had made. As a budding entrepreneur and as a young person, I had very little understanding of how to grow my business. I worked tenaciously to grow my clientele since my business was just growing. I had a few paying clients. At this time, I still lived with my parents. I'm grateful to God for the decision I made to follow that path. It was tough going through that path, but it was worth it in the long run. I didn't become a better writer by running away from the challenge. I became a full-time writer who made his living just writing for so many years because I stuck to the path against all odds. You see, we don't do so much because we don't challenge our ability. We don't become all God has made us to be because we do not place a demand on the ability He has placed within us. We limit our potentials and therefore we are unable to become the best that we can be. We stall. We make excuses. We give reasons why this great life is not meant for us. We look at the challenges before us and the unfavorable experiences we have had in the past. And soon, we allow those things to overwhelm us. We allow them to becloud our judgments. Soon, we are hindered from doing what we ought to be doing. Not because we cannot do them, but because we have been looking at the wrong things. In looking at the wrong things, we have allowed negativity to plunge through our energy to crush our ability. You have what it takes. Listen, God's ability is resident within you as a young person. The glory of the youth is their strength, the Bible says. This is enough proof that what you have within you is great enough to overcome and push you beyond what you are going through as a young person. The dream God has placed within you could never be truncated by the challenges you are facing outside of you. Challenges or excuses have no power over you except the power you give them. They may be tough and rough, but they have no might over you except the one you give to them. You are as powerful as the choice you make to respond to the ability God has placed within you. When you give responsibility to your ability, you could never quantify what could become of you. I struggled for a while to get business success. It affected my relationship with my parents because they wanted me to go get a job. I could have gotten a job, which wasn't a bad idea by the way, but I was so crushed by my dream to become a writer, I couldn't give up that dream for their choice. Now, this isn't going to be your story. Your path may not go the same way as mine, but my point is that you have all it takes to become all you are supposed to be. You are created for so much more, and you can achieve that so much more which you are made to achieve. You do not have to wait for permission to become all God has made you be. Most dreams that God puts in our heart as young people will not be actualized unless we choose to work on them even when we would rather not. When you give responsibility to your ability, you could never quantify what would become of you. Stop waiting for permission. The world is filled with people who are waiting for permission. They wait to be told what to do. They wait to be motivated before they ever get something done. 
They wait to be inspired before they ever unleash their abilities. They are held back by their wrong belief system and are affected by a mad valued system. They think the world owes them something because they are going through tough challenges. They are beaten, battered and under some sieges that we may never have to take for granted. But while all of these are understandable, those who choose to rise above them are the ones who become all that they were made to be. Those who choose to see beyond what they are encompassed with refuse to allow those challenges to hem them in. They admit their challenges and circumstances but decide to look for solutions. Instead of focusing on their problem, they consider the abilities God has placed within them and summon those abilities to become all that they are made to be. Using those abilities, they overcome habits, they crush bad attitude, they give up bad friends and go on to build better associations that build their lives. They are young people who have chosen to make the most of God's abilities within them. When you give responsibility to your ability, you could never quantify what would become of you. The world is filled with people who wait for others to hand them the permission to live their best life. They do not become all they are supposed to be because they do not allow the best in them to come forth. You don't have to be like that. God made you for so much more. If he knew you couldn't achieve what he has given you to do, he wouldn't demand it from you. God will never ask you to do what he has not equipped you for. Whatever he has asked you to do, you have been given the grace that would equally carry you through. Give up excuses. Start taking responsibility. I have been there and done that many times, giving all the excuses why I couldn't do or be all that God wanted me to. Until I started to tell myself that God didn't raise me with these excuses. I saw in God's word that God was never unfaithful. Whatever you are faced with, he would equip each one of us to achieve that thing. I didn't believe I would become a writer or become a better entrepreneur after my undergraduate studies, but I did. I wasn't lucky. I just had a bit of faith and that was enough to carry me through. God is never unfaithful. He gives you enough faith to carry you through whatever he has placed in your heart to do. You want to make the world a better place with your dream? He supports you to do it by equipping you with all the abilities you need to do so. You have all that you need to become all that you were made to be. Your own responsibility is not to wait for permission because no one will do for you what you alone can do for yourself. No one will achieve the kind of life you were created to achieve. You alone can find your path and choose to follow that path, however hard the path may be, and the path will be difficult sometimes. And to always remember, God gives you grace that is equal to the task he has given you to do. Use that grace. Stand up to responsibility before you as a youngster. That is the only way you can challenge your ability. When you give responsibility to your ability, you could never quantify what could become of you. If this video inspired you, like this video and subscribe to our channel. We love you.